It's a big day in a dog's life. Mindy is getting a designer pad. The house that we had didn't last too long between wind and rain and the dog chewing, so we had to go for something more permanent. So then we found out our neighbour was making these and they're, they're sturdy and they're strong and they last, they last longer than the timber version, so. Really happy to see it. And it's not just like you're bringing them an ordinary little wooden box. This is a replica of their own home, if they like. <laughs> the economic downturn forced former builder Patrick Daly to turn his hand to something else. For the last two years, he's been making bespoke homes for four-legged friends. They're made from a high-density insulated board and then I plaster them with sand and cement inside and out when we tile the floors. A small one can take about five to six hours and then it could take a week to make a really big one. While activity in the wider construction industry has been quiet, this business is seeing a more adventurous home buyer. They're asking for tiled floors, carpet on the floors, double glazed windows. Prices start at 200 and from there on up then 200, 260, 300, 350. And then if you want to go crazy, you can go crazy. Crazy would get a, a really, really big dog home. Upstairs, downstairs, lights, tap. It may be too soon to tell whether the upward trend in house prices can be sustained, but there are some people who are dipping into their disposable income to buy homes like this one. To withstand the chewing <laughs> and the biting, because that's the reason why our first house originally fell asunder. And it's, it's important that she has somewhere safe to sleep, somewhere that's going to not going to blow over during the night in a storm or she's a member of our family, so it's important she's looked after. It remains to be seen whether designer homes for dogs is a sign things are looking up in real estate. But this investor seems happy to have a paw on the property ladder.